Welcome to God's Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 5.6. We are asked to find VO which is the output of there and we are also asked to find IO which is the current indicator there. So as you will notice this is a summing amplifier so to find VO you can basically just use the summing amplifier formula which says VO is equal to the negative of the feedback resistor divided by the resistor in the path 20k in this case, multiplied by the, the voltage, which is in the same path, which is 1.5. And again, we're going to do the same thing. Feedback resistor divided by resistor in the path, multiplied by the voltage source in the same path. And finally, so you do this for whatever number of inputs you have. So in this case, we have only three inputs. So this is where you're going to stop. Divided by the resistor value which is in the path and then multiply by the voltage value in the same path and now this VO should be negative 3.8 volts you can just quickly punch that into your calculator and this is what you get now to find IO we are going to look at this node this node is VO because we have EO indicated across the resistor which is below this particular node and therefore this is this node voltage is VO right so now you'll also notice that at this point so there are quite a few methods which you can use to find IO but the quickest one which I could find is that there isn't any current which goes into this so this I goes all the way until this point VO right which means um, zero, which is the voltage there, which is also the voltage there, because the terminal voltages are equal. Only I have a line, or only we have a wire between this point and ground, so the voltage there is zero volts. And since the terminal voltages are equal, that voltage there is also zero volts. And since this I goes all the way, you can say from this point to that point, or zero subtract to VO divided by 8k, which is the resistor value which is along that path. So I can be said to be this. Cool. So now at this node, we have I going in. So we have negative I. We have IO going in. We have negative IO. So finally, we have VO divided by 4k, which we assume to be going out. Now we found the value of VO earlier, which is the first part of the question. And we can essentially find I from this because we know VO, right? So substituting this, we're going to say negative, negative 3.8 divided by 8K, subtract IO plus 3.8 divided by 4K is equal to zero. And taking this IO to the other side of the equal sign, then IO will ultimately be equal to 3.8 divided by 8K plus 3.8 divided by 4K. So this you can punch into your calculator and the answer which you find for the value of IO. Now, if you look here, I made a slight error because the value of VO is negative. So if we say negative of that, that is fine. This is going to be positive. So you're going to have uh, three, after taking this to the other side, we're going to have 3.8 divided by AK. That is fine. But at this point, substituting um, VO, we're going to substitute a negative, which means you're going to have that. So ultimately, IO is going to be equals to 3.8 divided by 8k, which is positive, subtract 3.8 divided by 4k, and therefore IO is going to be equal to, so you're going to have 3.8 divided by 8,000, subtract 3.8 divided by 4,000, and the answer to that is negative 475 microamperes.